Hey guys, this is CJ Rhodes from AudacitySupport.com, and today I don't want to really do anything specific. I just want to mess around with the track and show y'all that there are thousands of ways to mess around with Audacity and produce great audio tracks, cool things to do, all kinds of stuff. And um, today I'm just going to be messing around and showing you how you can play around with chopping pieces up and stuff and kind of just tinkering around and seeing what you can get out of it, really, basically. So, um, what I'm doing right here, I have a piece of my audio track right here highlighted. It's uh, the beginning of a song. I'll play it for you guys. Um, it's before the beat kicks in, and I want it to... I want to take that piece of the song that you see highlighted right there and I want to split that away. I want to take that away so I can I can mess with that piece that I have highlighted right there independently by itself so I don't affect the other part of the song that I didn't want to mess with. So what I've done already, I've already highlighted it right here. That's all I have done. I took my cursor and I zoomed in exactly where the beat starts and stops before the drums kick in on the song. So I just have a basic piano beginning right there that I wanted to clip out of there and separate it so I can kind of mess around with it independently. So now that I have it highlighted, if you don't know how to split pieces of the tracks away from each other, I'll show you right now. And if you don't know what I mean, just watch and I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Now, I'm going to take my piece of highlighted track right here. I'm going to go to edit and come down here to split right there. And that's going to split that part away from that part. So hit split. And as you see, it took it away from that part up there at the top. So all I did was broke the song down into two different pieces. The piece that I highlighted and the piece that I did not highlight. And you can continue into this. We could co come down here and take a piece out of this and keep continuing on if you wanted to. Just depending on how many pieces of the song you wanted different. That way you could apply specific effects to each piece that way you know you're not messing around and getting too far with your effects maybe if you're highlighting things that way you know exactly how much of the song is going to have that effect on it and stuff if you catch what I mean alright well now that we have that split away from that let, let me let me play the beginning of it and hear, let you hear what we're messing around with here That was it right there. And um, let me show you guys a little trick right here. When you're messing around with this, if you're only messing with this little piece right here down here, like I separated it like that, and I want to mess with that independently, and if I'm sitting here playing it over and over a thousand times, putting effects on it, keep going back, listening to it over and over, and I just want to hear what is going on with that track right here, and I don't want to hear the other one, you can come down here and hit solo on this one. That way you can only hear that track that you're messing around with that way you you're not confused of, on what what's getting the effects done to them and what when the song actually piece of the song actually ends and starts so as you see when you hit solo over there on the side that becomes grayed out at the top that means you will not hear it up there so if I begin the song again and play watch as the cursor goes into the next one Okay, as you see, it's playing the next part of the track up there at the top, but it's not being heard because it is soloed out on the bottom track down here. So, that's good to work with. That way we know exactly what we're hearing is getting the effect process to it. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here, and I'm really, I really have nothing in mind that I'm doing right now. I'm just doing it all off the top of my head to see what I can do. Now, I want to take this track, I think I'm going to come up here to my effects and see what I can mess around with. Um, we can come down here and put a little delay on it maybe and see what that sounds like. If you're not familiar with the delay, highlight a piece of your track, go in there and play around with it. There's tons of cool stuff you can do with the delay effect. Um, I'll get into that more on another tutorial. 
All right, I just put a little bit of delay on it. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, not much difference, but at the end you could hear what it was doing really. It actually synced up so well that the piano was playing on top of the other piano and it was such close key that everything kind of sounded the same. Um, at the end you heard pretty much what it was doing though. It is putting another delay is coming in after the fact. If you don't know what delay is, look it up and you'll understand. But it was putting it on top of it and it pretty much synced up that's why you didn't really hear it that well you can go back in there and adjust it but I did like how it was coming out at the end like that so what I might do I might come up here let's take this off solo right quick and say I want it to kinda do that little echo effect for just a second and then the beat kick in all of a sudden now I might come up here to my time shift tool right here the two arrows on both sides click that and whatever track you're on top of that's what track is going to drag it's going to drag it to the left and to the right now be careful that you don't get something out of sync you can mess a lot of things up by dragging things all around and then you got several pieces of audio and they all don't sync up and all your times are different and you could really screw up if you don't know what you're doing so just be careful and play around with it before you do anything serious with it I'm going to move this off to the side just a little bit so you can get that little delay effect feel and then the beat will kick in. Alright, now let's see how that sounds. I might need to shift it a little bit more, but we've just got to play around with it and see how that kicks in. I probably actually do need to shift it up just a hair. Let's hear how that sounds now. you saw how I did that you saw how it had a little breakdown after the little beginning piece of the track that I separated that's cool that's exactly what I wanted to do I wanted a little piece of a breakdown and kind of echo out and kind of sounds like the song is about to stop and then it just comes straight into it again now what I just had an idea of doing I'm gonna control and undo, undo some of the things I just did I'm gonna undo my time shifting undo that and I want to take that delay off what I was thinking since I want that delay on the end like that and you can't really tell it's at the beginning of the track we're just gonna come back up here and we're gonna highlight just the tip of that right there and we're gonna put that delay back on the tip so just the tip of it's delaying out because you can't really tell it's on the beginning of it so we're just gonna leave that as it is and just let the end of it kind of delay kind of have like an echo sound to it so let's go back up to our effects and just with that little tip on the on the end highlighted we're going to do the delay again to it and I'm just going to use the recommending settings that Audacity has set up already for me I didn't adjust them earlier so I'm just going to hit OK real quick and it did it for me again alright let's I'm just going to start a little bit before it and hear how it sounds real quick Okay, and that same effect is there again on the tip, just like I wanted it. All right, I'm gonna come back up here to my time shift tool again. Click that. I'm gonna move that back again because I did undo the time shift earlier. So I'm gonna move it back just a hair right about there and let go. And let's hear how that kicks in, see if it did it right again. Uh, 